wait, 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 wait. With the 2024 election upon us, all the people that are voting for Kamala Harris, are you sure that you're voting for the right person? Are you sure you're voting for the right thing? You need to check this video out all the way to the end. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Don't forget to like and share as well. We trust women to make decisions about their own bodies and not have their government tell them what... And people are actually voting evil into power. Now, to help you think about all of this, check this clip out. For far too long, the world has been trying to bully the church into silence, saying, no, 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 you can't talk about that because that's political. You need to know these things were biblical truths before they were ever political statements. When does life begin? That's a biblical truth. What defines marriage? That's a biblical truth. Who determines sex and gender? That's a biblical truth. See, the world is infringing on the words territory, not by versa if god is creator and god is designer then god also gets to be definer and it's very arrogant for us to think we get to redefine what god has already defined we have truth and truth always wins all right now i hope you are able to settle your emotions and to get into the mindset of watching this video because it might upset some people right by the way this video was covered by answers in genesis I think they did a pretty good job. It was fair and accurate and balanced. And I think you guys will appreciate it too. So let me stop talking. Let's just play it and then we'll react to it in a minute. We who believe in reproductive freedom will stop Donald Trump's extreme abortion bans because we trust women to make decisions about their own interesting because uh, a fertilized egg is not part of a woman's body, it's separate to a woman's body, and it's a different combination of information, and we're made in the image of God, right, from fertilization, so there we have someone running for president who wants to kill as many children in their mother's wombs as possible. Um, that's who she is, and it's interesting how the, we don't want the government telling you what to do, but she's already said that she wants us to stop eating meat, so she's already telling us what to do with our bodies and they want to tell us what to do with driving cars and so it goes on um so this is another interesting one for far too long the status quo thinking has been to believe that by putting more police on the street you're gonna have more safety and that's just wrong see one of the one of the false assumptions of secularists is that man is basically good improve his environment and he'll get better uh, and that's not true man is bad <laughs> hate to tell you but each one of our hearts is described in the bible this way the heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked now for those of us who are christians we do our best to not let our sin nature master over us uh, but um, unfortunately those who are not christians let their sin nature master over them if you don't understand our sin nature you're going to make wrong decisions and then of course she promotes terrible sexual perversion in our culture hi everyone it's kamala harris each day we are seeing our rights and freedoms under attack, including the right of everyone to be who they are, love who they love, openly and with pride. So as we fight back against these attacks, let's all remember, no one is alone. We are all in this together, and your vote is your power. So please make sure your voice is heard this November and register to vote at vote.gov. Can I get an amen? Amen! Now on with the show. And remember, you better vote. <laughs> Well, I told you something right there. <laughs> the 
there she is uh, dancing with the drag queens. And I mean, that tells you something right there on the state of this nation. And you know, I say to people, you shouldn't vote for someone because they're Democrat, Republican, or Independent. You know what we should do as Christians? We should judge what they believe in their worldview against the absolute authority of God's word. You're not going to find a perfect person, but I believe that what we should aim for is uh, maximizing righteousness and minimizing evil. And that's how I believe that we should look at it. Now, I agree with that 100%. Now, to back up a bit and look at some of the claims that Kamala Harris has made, it's pretty evident that we are turning into a nation that has bowed down to the god Molech. Tim Cantrell says both the Jews in Germany and blacks in South Africa were viewed as a threat to public health and national security. Trust us, said the government. We truly have your best interests at heart. All we want to do is help keep you safe. Government has already become the purveyor of wickedness. Government is a murderer. Slaughtering millions of infants in abortion. Elevating the LGBTQ agenda, the bizarre transgender deception. The culture has become anti-truth. We all know that. The truth is the biggest threat to lies. We've come to a point in this country where we are sacrificing children by the millions. And I think a Christian, a believer, should understand that anybody who wants to be in power and who's advocating for the sacrifice of children is utterly anti-God and anti-Christ. And the Bible contains many examples. If you look at scripture, this is entirely the nature of a godless society. For, for instance, this article from God Question, I found it says that the bible contains the heartbreaking tale of child sacrifice practiced in the name of molech also spelled moloch or molech a god of the ammonites molech worship was practiced by the ammonites and canaanites who revered molech as a protecting father figure images of molech were made of bronze and their outstretched arms were heated red hot living children living breathing children we're talking about here were then placed into the idol's hands and died there or were rolled into the fire pit below some sources indicate a child might also be passed through the fire prior to the actual sacrifice in order to purify or baptize the child. God prohibited Israel from child sacrifice in general and Molech worship in particular. In Leviticus 20 verses 2 through 5 states, Say to the Israelites, any Israelite or any foreigner residing in Israel who sacrifices any of his children to Molech is to be put to death. Anybody who sacrifices their children is to be put to death according to Leviticus 20 verses 2 through 5. And now we have a presidential candidate campaigning on the killing of the innocent and people are cheering for that we trust women to make decisions about their own body This, brothers and sisters, is evil. No wonder why the greatest threat to this nation, as Pastor John McCarthy stated, is the government. In reality, the greatest threat to this nation is the government. When you have a government that is evil, what happens is that the innocent is no longer protected, evil is no longer restrained, everything that is ungodly, everything that is immoral is now on full display and celebrated and has the full support of the government. In reality, the greatest threat to this nation is the government. The government. And I want to show you how we are to understand that. Turn to Romans 13. Romans 13. Listen carefully to what the Apostle Paul said. Every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those which exist are established by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God. And they who have opposed will receive condemnation upon themselves. For rulers are not a cause of fear for good behavior, but for evil. Do you want to have no fear of authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For it is a minister of God to you for good. 
But if you do what is evil, be afraid, for it doesn't bear the sword for nothing, for it is a minister of God, an avenger who brings wrath on the one who practices evil. The role of the government is to restrain evil. And when it functions to restrain evil, it is fulfilling its God-ordained purpose. Please notice in verses 1 and 2 that government is from God, by God, of God. It is designed as a necessary restraint in a world of sinners. Verses 3 and 4 tell us it is not a threat to those whose behavior is good, but evil. It is those who do evil who should be afraid, not those who do good. In fact, it offers praise to those who do good and brings wrath on those who do evil. And rulers, actually, according to verse 6, are servants of God, devoted to that service. This is God's design for government. The problem is when government ceases to function by God's design, it yields up its authority. The same would be true in a family. God's design is that the father lead the family. When the father leads in a destructive and evil way, he yields up the right to exercise that God-given authority. And by the way, just as a footnote, the man who wrote that, the Apostle Paul, was in violation of the government more often than any other person in the entire New Testament. someone in for president right and many years and decades have passed and we voted for this person and that person and that person has got up there and probably not even fulfilled all the promises that they have promised we need to do a thorough research on this person's beliefs this person's character the things that this person is setting in stone to deliver to us what are we voting for? Who are we voting for? What is that person's moral standards? Is Kamala Harris the right person to lead this country? To be better? To be great? Or is it Donald Trump? Either way, we need to analyze this. We only got two people to choose from that are going to be the next president of the United States. And it boils down to, what do you believe in, viewer? Do you side with Kamala Harris and her beliefs? Do you think it is okay for women to abort children just because they don't want them? At the end of the day, right is right and wrong is wrong. And we need to decide how do we want our future to be? The decisions of the president is going to impact us as a nation, as a whole. It don't matter if you're on that side or that side. We're all going to be impacted in some kind of way. So we need to put more emphasis, more emphasis on knowing how this person is going to lead and guide us in the right way in the future. Me, I'm sitting back, I'm just watching it all. I really don't get involved in politics. But I also watch and I analyze. And people jumping on this side and that side. What do you believe in, viewer? I want to know your thoughts and opinions. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know what you think 
about this video many on that side many on this side who do you got 2024 presidential election